Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look like a hot mess. I've been out all day. I'm working, shopping, looking at apart um, in an apartments, houses, and um, I'm just a mess and I'm tired and I have a few videos, a few different things to videotape tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to get them all taped and um, they're just short little segments. I'm gonna have them probably put up, hopefully by tonight if I don't pass out soon. Um, the first one is I'd like to sit here and talk to you guys a little bit about something. Now, as far as everybody knows that I, that watches my videos, I was, I had COPD. I have COPD. And I had to quit smoking cigarettes, which in the September 2011, I lost 50 pounds. I have gained all that weight back plus maybe a couple more pounds on top of it. Um, I don't like the way I feel. I don't. I look at myself in the mirror and I just get disgusted because I looked good before I gained back the weight. I thought I looked halfway decent and I didn't have this freaking triple double chin going on and I wasn't as big and my clothes fit me good and now they're just not. So which leads me to the fact that I had to go I have to go buy new clothes but instead of me buying it, that's my cat in the back. So instead of me going buy new clothes I figured I would just wear some of the looser clothes I had from prior to when I lost weight. Um, I guess all my other clothes are going to have to wait until I lose weight again. So anyway, so I don't know if I've told you guys, I went to a chiropractor on Tuesday and I had an adjustment done, but it wasn't like a full adjustment with his hands. He just did it with this like clicker thing and a pressure point um, adjustment with his fingers. And I got out of the office that night, that day and I felt great, like my back wasn't hurting, and then I went home, and I laid down for a little bit, and I woke up, and I went to work for a little while, and all of a sudden I was driving home, and I was getting excruciating pain in my spine. Now, first it started off as soreness, and then it went from soreness to pain that was so unbelievable that I was crying my eyes out. I don't ever cry from the pain that's in my back. They, I literally will just take myself to doctors and have my doctor prescribe something. But I was trying to fight through this pain because I figured the chiropractor knew what he was doing and he would help me. Now, yes, he probably does know what he's doing. And yes, he has a five star rating out of all his clients, which is a lot. And his he's got all five star rating. I don't trust that he's not a bad doctor. It's just the fact of how my back is really is messed up. So on Monday when I go see him, we're going to have to discuss this. But anyway, so I went to urgent care that uh, the next morning. I went to urgent care. I was in excruciating pain. Actually, I woke up that morning and I was in excruciating pain and I made less. I went the whole day, actually. And I tried to just deal with it, take ibuprofen, whatever, Tylenol. And I couldn't. It was just so excruciating, the pain. So I literally just took as much pain medicine like ibuprofen and Tylenol as I possibly can for one night and I went to bed and I woke up the next morning the following morning and I felt worse so I then went over to urgent care well I called my doctor first and they didn't have any openings that day they said they did have something open the next day but I would have to go if I was in that much pain I would have to go over to urgent care to see them before I could see my doctor the next the following day so I was like cool make the appointment okay went over to urgent care and turns out that there was nothing broken in my back, thank God. And there was nothing that seems out of ordinary. Just that um, my spine felt, seemed fine on the x-ray. They said if they wanted to look further into it, I would have to have a CAT scan or an MRI, which would be provided by my doctor. So I go to my doctor and my doctor tells me, well, I think it's time for you to go to physical therapy. I don't think the chiropractor is going to work for your upper back. Um, which my lower back is bad too. So he told me it possibly, she told me it's possible that it could help your lower back. But at this time, she does not want him touching my upper back because of how bad it is. So I then have gotten prescribed strong painkillers and I had to get prescribed, um, Pritazon to bring the swelling down because I'm having excruciating nerve pain. And since everybody has had, has had nerve pain. It is just not something you want to deal with. So anyway, off that subject. 
the real reason why I'm talking, he's sitting here talking to you guys today about is I'd like to talk to you about uh, a while back I posted a video about my weight loss journey and how I gained weight and lost it and then gained it back when I stopped smoking. Um, I went to my doctor's office yesterday and she recommended that I go see a dietitian, not only a dietitian to get my, um, to like teach me how to eat properly with lose and lose weight, which I already know how to do, but she wants me to go see a dietitian and to get my health back on track and help me with those cravings when I do want a cigarette. So I'm going to go see one of those. She also recommended me going to see a doctor that does stomach stapling and stomach lap bands and a new, I don't know if it's new, but it's, she's not sure if it's covered by the insurance, but if it is, I'm going to probably go and have it. And that is called, um, they put this tube down your sedated. They put a tube down your throat with a balloon attached to it. And then they put the balloon in, they inflate the balloon in your stomach. And then they pull this thing out of your esophagus and they leave the balloon in for six months and you are supposed to lose anywhere from 50 to 70 pounds in that first six months you're guaranteed actually to lose 20 to 50 pounds so, but people have lost a lot more I've heard she told me my doctor told me and for six months oops my phone's cold for six months you um have this band in your stomach you, you have this balloon in your stomach and you actually go to a dietitian and you have to go to all these other doctors psychiatrist to retrain your brain how to eat normally and lose the weight um I just don't feel comfortable with my body so if this is just a day surgery thing and it does help me lose 50 to 70 pounds like within six months and keep the weight off and train my brain how to eat properly without overeating or eating stuff I'm not supposed to then I will definitely probably go for it because Hopefully it's covered, and if, it didn't, if it's not, then we'll figure something out else out after either the lap band or the full um, stapling of the stomach. But for now, I think we're going to look into this. Um, she did say that he could prescribe me some pain, uh, not pain medicine, he could prescribe me some um, prescription diet pills, but I don't know if I trust that too much. I want to check out, look into this balloon thing going in the stomach. And hopefully it works and hopefully I can lose some weight and hopefully I can do a story of about it like a pre-surgery a pre-surgery a pre-procedure like video and then a one after how I feel and then I can update you guys once a week or twice every two weeks just to show you my um, my weight loss journey but I am going to be I don't know I'll probably hear back from the doctor on Monday or Tuesday so I will update you guys in a further video and let you know what's going on with that. But for now, I would like to probably close out this video because I have two more videos I want to show you, tape for you guys, show you guys. Um, my next video is going to be, I went to the yard sale shopping today with my mom and we did pick up some, a little bit at my fiance and we did pick up some stuff. Um, I didn't pick up much, maybe six or seven items, but so six or seven items are really cute and check out the video after this or before this and that would be there oh and then there is a if y'all know I'm obsessed with Michael Kors there is a Michael Kors bag back there which I'm going to do a separate video with that one it's probably gonna be like a two or three minute video of me unboxing that and they because I buy so much stuff from the store they actually gave me a free gift um with the purchase which was really nice of the woman because I've never seen Michael Kors actually give me a free gift. It wasn't something they were doing. I saw this item and I was like, oh, do you guys sell that? And she was like, no, actually we don't, but I have a few of them in the back and I can give you one for free. And I was like, oh, sweet, like, thanks. So anyway, I will show that you in another video. Um, this is gonna be my first video tonight and then there's gonna be two more after that. So stay tuned for the next one. If you like this one, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want me to do in future videos. Um, if we do eventually move into this place, I'm going to be making some better content. Some better stuff. Uh, we do have a backyard, so do some stuff outside. Uh, I don't know. Take it day by day. But anyway, so I'm going to close out this video. You guys have a great night. And let's watch my next two videos. Have a good night.